Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you all of the cool features that have been added to Stepic 1.5. So diving right into the project here, you can see I have set up three different unique sequences and we're going to be looking at all three of them. And in doing so, I'll obviously try to show off as much of the new cool stuff as possible. So the very first thing that I need to talk about is full MIDI control. If you remember from my last Stepic video, anytime you hit play, the ARP would start playing. And if you hit stop, the ARP would stop playing based on the DAW playthrough. That is now no longer the case. So if I play it here, you'll see that nothing is happening. It is not until I play an actual MIDI note that it starts to play. And as you can probably already tell from the MIDI notes in this clip here, we're also using the MIDI notes to control something else. So having a look at this MIDI here, you can see one long note here. This is just to trigger the sound to make sure that it's always playing. And then we have these control notes down below here. And these are used to trigger different patterns. You can see that they're one semitone different. We have C and C sharp. And if you go into Stepic itself, you can see that you have two patterns here. So let's say that you want to set up both the MIDI control as well as different pattern triggering with the MIDI. In order to do MIDI control so that it only plays where MIDI notes are coming in input, you have to go here into MIDI play. Now you have an option to synchronize to the host, that will be the old way, where it will always play unless you decide to mute the instrument. Or you have the note on mode here, which stands for MIDI control. If there's MIDI notes in input, it will play. If there's no MIDI notes in input, it will not play. Now this is the version that I like in terms of triggering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a default. Then for the different pattern triggering, what we have to do is we have to go into this new window here, where you can see we have set up switch pattern one, switch pattern two, and you can just map these notes in here. The way that I would recommend that you do that is create another MIDI clip, set the two notes that you want. Let's go an octave up for this example. We go here and then here up. And this just gives us a way to trigger the notes. And as you can see, I have to go to the other part like this. And now we should maintain the same functionality. We just have to put these an octave up. And you'll see that we'll get three times the first pattern. And then when we hit the second note, we'll get the second pattern. Now, one thing that I quickly want to point out, which I didn't cover in my first video, is the swing. You can actually set swing amounts for different patterns. As you can see, this first pattern has 25% swing whereas the second one doesn't actually have any swing, giving you that change in rhythm. And of course, there's a melody difference as well, as you can see from the melody in the middle here. I'm not going to go over all of the features in this video. Obviously, there's the other video that I made on Stepic, but I think it's also pretty obvious what's going on in this section here. We can see pitch, octave, and duration, and we can hear that it's generating arpeggios. And that's one of the cool things about Stepic is that it's so very, very visual. It shows you what notes it is playing. It shows you exactly what all of the parameters are. You can see that everything on the right here has to do with the pattern that you're in. So if you want to randomize it, delete it or copy it, move it up, move it down, move it left, move it right. All of that is in regards to the little segments that you have over here. And obviously the same is true for the automations. In this case, I'm using one automation targeting macro one of the serum that is on this track. And in the actual sound patch, you can see that this is just used to change the filter cutoff. So this will just add a little bit of movement to the filter cutoff. Of course, you could saw there that as I was turning it off, it switched to pattern two and it turned on again. All of these settings are per pattern. So if I turn it off here in this pattern, you can see it will still stay on here. Now, before we continue, if you want to support the channel, you can do so by leaving a like and making sure that you're subscribed. Also, if you want to support me financially, check out my Gumroad for some of my products or my Patreon. Links for both of them are going to be in the description. Now let's get back into the video. Now I want to show you something a little bit more complex, which uses another feature, which is really, really cool. Let's have a listen to this patch.
So you can hear we have this complex morphing pad with an ARP on top. All of this was generated using one Stepic and one Serum patch. Inside Stepic, you can see that we're using six different patterns. And a notable thing here is that they all have the same melody, as you can see. They also all have their octaves set to plus two. The only difference is the root note that they start with. You can see we have an A sharp, a G sharp, an F sharp, a B, a D sharp, and then a C sharp. Now these are the root notes of the chord. As you can see, we have an A sharp here, G sharp, F sharp, A sharp, B, D sharp, and C sharp here. And actually a cool thing here with the MIDI mapping is that we're using these notes to actually change the pattern of the ARP so that the ARP follows the chord. Again, this is really easy to set up. You just set up switches like this where each of the notes correspond to the key of that particular pattern. So our A sharp pattern is triggered by A sharp, our G sharp pattern is triggered by G sharp, and so on and so on. But if Stepic is generating the MIDI, how do we still get the chords into Serum? For that, we have to look at this through option here. This is where you allow MIDI through settings, and this allows you to combine certain elements of the MIDI instead of overwriting them. Normally, Stepic will generate new MIDI for the instrument that you have, disregarding all of the input MIDI in the process. But here, as you can see, you can take some of those categories and pass them on to the actual synth that you're using. Now, the final thing that I want to talk about is just the simplicity of generating new melodic ideas. Obviously, having a strong sequencer is a good thing, but the way that I like to work with Stepic is using its randomization capabilities to generate new musical ideas. So here you can see we have used Stepic, and this is for an acid line. And you can see that we're using some of the MIDI notes here, just very basic stuff. We are using the duration to give a little bit of spacing between all of the notes. We're not using any of the velocity, swing, divider, the note repeat, all of that stuff we are not using. It's just a simple melodic idea being generated here. Together with that, you can see we have two sequences set up. The stop one is controlling the filter cutoff of the acid sound via macro two, whereas the bottom one is controlling the distortion via macro three. But now the cool thing is I can just sit here and generate new musical ideas. You can obviously tell this this is very very powerful now hopefully you can tell that this is a very very powerful tool if you want to try it out yourself there's going to be an affiliate link in the description that you can use but i just wanted to show this update for a very particular reason before this update stepic was something that was a little bit of a hassle to set up but once you had it set up was very very nice with the way that it was working before where it was always playing and you had to mute it you would always have to have automation clips throughout your whole project and it was hard to see from the timeline where things were playing. Now it is tied to the MIDI clip, just like every other instrument. So you just know where a MIDI clip is, that's where your Stepic is going to play. Obviously, if you're using this new feature of controlling it via the MIDI. So that will probably mean that you'll see Stepic used more and more in my productions and tutorials. And that was partially the reason why I now wanted to show off the new features. So that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.